This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Today is Tuesday, or at least it is while you're watching this. It's actually Friday as I'm recording this, and I've just taken time out from watching Colin at Guitarist as uh, taking a Dan Electro apart. But anyway, you'll probably be watching this when it goes out on a Tuesday, and uh, you know what Tuesday means. It's a top five list, top five Tuesday. And I want to say a big shout out to uh, one of my students, a chap called Dave, who suggested this topic that we're looking at today, which, as you've probably seen the, well, you will have seen the uh, the title of the video on the thumbnail I'm talking about my favourite musicals today and um, I'm not talking about you know kind of The King and I or anything like that nothing quite that um, you know ancient uh, but there's there's a few old ones on this list um, and I decided to keep it quite tightly defined here uh, I could have easily filled this list up with uh, you know movies that are of concerts The Last Waltz springs to mind Woodstock springs to mind as well but no I thought I'll keep it nice and tightly defined to you know a movie with a plot actors and you know that that has songs in it and um yeah, there was a, a tough choice here, and unusually for me, there's going to be a couple of honourable mentions at the end, but we'll get to those, as I say, at the end. So let's start at the beginning with... Greece. Yeah, it had to be. Greece. I mean, is it a great collection of songs? Well, not really. I mean, there's some good moments in there. Um, you know, I mean, you're the one that I want, and uh, Summer Nights, and... Um, you know, hopelessly devoted to you. You know, they're not bad songs, are they? But um, it's the nostalgia value for me more than anything else. These lists are always just a reflection of my tastes, and my tastes, like yours, I guess, are shaped by your um, your life experience. And uh, this this movie came out when I was, I think, 11 years old, and, um, you know, it was a big thing in the playground at school about, you know, there was the big dividing line between those who had been to see Greece and those who hadn't. Strictly speaking, 11-year-olds shouldn't really have been able to see because I think it was uh, you were underage to see it uh, back then. But anyway, um, I did eventually see it. had the soundtrack album. I think I got it for that Christmas. And uh, yes, it's lots of happy memories for me. So this one had to be on the list. Next. The Commitment. The Commitment. Yes, indeed. Um early 90s wasn't it what a fantastic film i still watch it from time to time nowadays and uh, alan parker the director insisted that all of the music that you hear in the uh, when you're watching the film it was actually recorded live quite often for uh, movies like this um you know it's the the, the actors are just um lip syncing or miming or whatever you want to call it but you know everything the music you hear the performances you hear in this movie are um, live performances of that band and everybody was actually you know a musician and a singer and an actor i guess at the time the other uh, big shout out i want to give to this uh, to this film are the, uh, the the guys who wrote the uh, the screenplay for it uh, dick clement and ian lafrenny uh, two legends of the uk sitcom scene they did two of my favorite ever uh, situation comedies um, porridge uh, Norman Stanley Fletcher and all that, um, which if you're not from the UK, you may recognise the um, the the US adaptation of Porridge. It was called On the Rocks, I think, and uh, Outfeed is in Pet, that's another one of theirs. The Likely Lads, the list goes on and on of classic sitcoms that they wrote, and they just have a natural uh, rhythm and comedic talent uh, in the dialogue that they write, and this definitely comes through in this film. Loads of great music as well, fantastic film. You know, I will never tire of watching it, so this one definitely had to be on the list. Next. This is Spinal Tap. Yeah, I wasn't going to include this one because um, I didn't really think of it as a musical. I think of it as a comedy. Um, but, you know, there is a soundtrack album and, you know, the, the, there's music all the way through the film. I think the problem is that you, you, f you don't remember the music from this film. You remember the gags. 
you know the um the course it goes up to 11 that kind of that, that gag and the uh, the stonehenge thing as well you know and, and you know the where the meat in the dressing room for the buffet doesn't fit into the sandwich and the the rock star tantrum the hello cleveland and the the band getting lost backstage all of these gags you that's what you remember from the film but you know it is full of music that it's it you know it fits the definition i said earlier you know it's a plot it's a narrative and you know there's music in it and there's a soundtrack album so yeah couldn't really leave this one out could i next crossroads now the first inkling i had of uh this film was um on guitar player magazine remember when they used to come with that kind of uh flexi disc uh, vinyl record that you used to tear out of the uh, out of the centre of the magazine and play it, and it was uh, the jam between Ry Cooder and Steve Vai, or was it Arlen Roth? There's some debate about that, isn't there? That whether you know uh, Arlen Roth was credited as guitar coach to Ralph Macchio, but uh, wasn't there some sort of court case about it where? Arlen kind of said that he played a lot of the guitar parts that were credited to Ry Cooder. If you know more about that, leave a comment down below because um, it's something that I, it's it's whispers and rumours that I've heard. I just wonder if any of you have got um, more info on that. But yes, the um, the classically trained young guitarist who's in love with the blues and absconds with um, Willie Brown. Um, Robert Johnson's uh, pal from back in the day, and they go down to the crossroads. And the fi- I mean, that, that famous guitar duel at the end. I'll probably link to some extracts from these movies down in the description, so that one will definitely be there. Um, you know, fantastic, you know, tongue in cheek. A lot of blues purists um, kind of got a bit upset about this, this movie because it was um, disrespectful to the blues. I thought it was just fun. I mean, I'm a biggest blues fan in the world, but, you know, I enjoyed it. And, um, you know, the, as I say, just, just a great narrative and a great plot and some great music. And, um, you know, the good guy wins in the end. What more can you want? Next. The Wall. Indeed, The Wall. Um, one of my favourite albums. Um, you know, I should really do a, 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 a video a video on my favourite Pink Floyd stuff, but unfortunately it will be limited to, like, you know, um, stuff from the album The Wall and stuff from uh, Dark Side of the Moon album. Pretty much everything else... I've never really, you know, kind of got into that much. The final cut wasn't really into that. Atom Heart, Mother, Animals. I just never really got into those. I'd maybe wish you were here, but, you know, for me, it's all about The Wall and Dark Side of the Moon. And the movie The Wall, for me, is just um, fantastic, really. I can't fault it at all. And, uh, you know, it's a perfect accompaniment to the to the album. And you know, it, it, I just love the I love the album, I love the music, and I love the movie. And um, again, that one had to be on the list. And I said earlier that there would be a couple of honourable mentions. One that you're probably surprised I haven't mentioned uh, so far is Tommy. Now, here's the thing: um, somewhere knocking around, I've got the, the soundtrack album for Tommy. I haven't listened to it in a while. But I have got it, and I enjoy listening to it when I do. But I've never seen the movie. I've never seen it, so I can't really comment on the movie. It's on my to-do list. It will be, uh, you know, I'll I'll get round to watching it at some point. But somehow or other, I've managed to make it uh, to the ripe old age of 56 and uh, never seen that movie, to my shame. Um, And what would be another one? Um, I suppose there was another one in my head, and I can't remember what it it is. Um... Yes, Stormy Monday, um, fantastic gangster movie, but it's it's not a musical in the sense that you know characters burst into song uh, throughout the throughout it, but it's just a great um, atmospheric crime noir thriller uh, starring Sean Bean, Melanie Griffith, Tommy Lee Jones and uh sting of all sting does a a really great performance in this if you haven't seen that film go and watch it there's a there's a fantastic scene in uh, sting's office where uh, he gets the drop on some bad guys oh yes great great film and loads of great music in that and once again it's a plot it's a narrative and there's a soundtrack album so well worth checking out but there you go uh those are my five favorite movies make of it what you will hope uh, you agree with some of them you'll probably disagree with some 
of them as well. Let me know what your choices are down in the comments. I'm always interested to know uh, what your thoughts on these matters are. But for now, that is um, pretty much all I've got for you today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it entertaining in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like as well while you're at it. Don't forget, the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time. We drink beer and talk about music and guitars and whatever else crops up basically it's a great way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now